Howdy there gamers, welcome back now. I've been 17 for almost about a week now, and I'm not gonna lie to you, it's a little bit overrated. What you can literally do is like drive a car, and everyone's like, oh my god, you're 17 now, you can drive a car? Yes, I'm gonna drive it off a bridge. Anyway, uh, today we're gonna be talking about pets, all right? You know those little like rip-off Pokemon which you bring into your house? You feed them, you stroke them, and if you're Welsh, you fuck them. You know, their entire non-meaningful lives, they're always there with you, they're just chilling, you know? And they die. All right, that's basically it, all right? You know, all around the world, pretty much almost everybody has had or has a pet. But not once have we ever asked, why the fuck do we have these little shits, all right? So today, as I am very intelligent and have a very high IQ, higher than Deji's, of course, I am going to answer that very question. So let's go. All right, the first animal that we are talking about, which is the most commonly found as a pet, is like a fucking dog, all right? Everybody knows what a fucking dog is, all right? But they don't know what it's like to have a dog. You always see people who don't have a dog like, oh my god, I really wish I had a dog. They're always so cute and they just shit everywhere and I love them. But when they actually get a dog, they're like, the fuck did I do that? I absolutely despise this thing. You literally see anybody walking their dog and there is a high chance that they will despise the dog more than their children. People always make up for dogs being retards with the excuse that they're really loyal and they'll stick by your side forever and ever. They won't, really don't fucking care unless you feed them. Right? A dog can be fucking kidnapped by like Bin Laden, but you know, they're fed like a bowl, like a fucking meal every day. They won't give a shit. Right? People always say that dogs are our best friends. I, I honestly think that they're not, all right? It's always been clear since like the dawn of time since dogs have started chilling with us. We have fucking despised them. Do you know why, all right? Because somehow dogs have gotten used to eating bones, all right? How the fuck do they eat bones, all right? It, like a thousands of years ago, a guy must have been eating like a, a fucking chicken or a guy from Ice Age or what, and seen a dog come up and gone like, oh, oh, you want some food? Here, have this fucking bone. And they're like, okay, okay, I'll eat this bone. Oh, you can't, it's not even fucking food. I'll still eat it, all right? Still, to this day, they eat the fucking bone. I mean, it just shows that they never gave a shit about dogs in the first place. They are literally being fed the bone. So yeah, if I had to rate dogs, I would give them like a fucking 5 out of 10. One of the most interesting and intriguing things about a dog that has always made me wonder, how the fuck does chocolate kill them? Like, what the fuck is going on there, right? I've always thought, right, if bleach kills us, right, and chocolate kills them, what if them drinking bleach is like us eating chocolate? That's one, that's one for you to think about right there. All right, dogs are annoying and everything, all right? And they piss people off. At least they're not as boring and useless as like fucking cats, all right? I have no clue how the fuck people think that cats are pets because they do absolutely fuck all. What is the point of having cats? People always say, you know, I like cats over dogs because you don't have to do anything with a cat, all right? Why the fuck do you even have a cat in the first place, all right? If he's virtually not there and he's just doing his own shit, why the fuck do you have a cat in the first place? He might as well just be living on his own. It's such a retarded reason. People always make the like argument about like dogs versus cats so, and it's, it's obvious that dogs are fucking better as pets, all right? Because, you know, you actually have to look after them. But cats, they just do nothing. What do they do? They just, like, walk around just going, like, all right, I'm just going to leave the house for a while. And then they get surprised when they get hit by a car. It's like, motherfucker, you were letting your cat walk around the road. Be crying about the fact that you got hit by a car. And they're also disgusting as well. Like, they cough up hair and, like, they scratch your sofa. If I literally get a little smidget of, like, food on the sofa, I literally get executed. But cats can just literally go, like, fuck this sofa, fuck this sofa, I fucking hate this sofa. All the cat owners are like, you know what? This is completely fine. Why do you let cats into your house? They do nothing but cough up hair, scratch your sofa, and fuck off all day. They're not pets. They're just a fucking nuisance. While cats are completely fucking useless, all right, there is still a tiny little bit of me that goes, you know what, I can kind of see why people would have that as a pet. But there is something more bullshit than a cat, right? A fucking fish. Why do people have fishes as pets, all right? They don't even do anything. They just swim around a bowl all day and they look at the floor going like, damn, that's a nice floor. It's so useless. You just have to like feed them. You don't even feed them every day, all right? Because then they will just like literally explode. And then like after about two or three years, they'll just fuck off and die. And then you'll forget about them quicker than Dory's short-term memory loss. So you can tell that nobody gives a shit about fishes because you know, whenever you know, the pet dies, like either you know, dig them a nice little hole. But then with a fish, you just flush them down the toilet. Like, seriously, people do not give a shit about their fish. Why did they get them in the first place? The next pets that we're going to be talking about are uh, gerbils, guinea pigs, and uh, like those hamster motherfuckers. Right? Now, I can sort of understand 
these guys are pets, all right? You keep them in a cage, you feed them, you stroke them, all right? It's really in the description of a pet. They're also fucking annoying as well, especially guinea pigs, all right? The only good thing about guinea pigs is the fact that we got the cinematic masterpiece, G-Force, of the existence of guinea pigs. Without them, we wouldn't have that. So just think about that for a second, all right? Hamsters and guinea pigs as pets are just fucking annoying. All they do is run around their little cage, shitting everywhere, right? They're ungrateful about their cage because they just shit everywhere. Imagine if you had a child, you gave him a bedroom, and you just shat everywhere, all right? Personally, I would disown that child. You know, when a guinea pig does it, it's completely fine. You have to, like, clean out their cage every three weeks because they're, like, literally dirty motherfuckers shitting and pissing everywhere. And then if you want a guinea pig, the, the people at, like, Pets at Home are like, well, you see, guinea pigs get really lonely, so you might want to get a second one. It's like, motherfucker, I just want one guinea pig. Or, like, a fucking community of guinea pigs who are all just, like, shitting and pissing everywhere, all right? Then you have to clean them out, all right? And you have to, like, feed them, all right? And they're not fed, all right? They're always squeaking because they're unhappy, all right? In fact, they're always just fucking squeaking. They never shut the fuck up. They're always like, ee, 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 give me food, ee, ee, ee. They are annoying. And gerbils as well. Gerbils don't do anything. Gerbils just fucking sleep all day. Then run around at night going like, ha, ha. Yeah, fuck you trying to sleep over there. My sister has gerbils, and I haven't seen them do anything, all right? We can go see them now and see what they're fucking doing, all right? All right, this is, uh, this, this is the cage with the... Oh. Oh, they're actually doing something. There he is. Oi. I don't know what he's called, so we'll just call him, uh, Steven. Oi, Steven, mate. Oh, you're just gonna go back in there. They, they just sit in there, and they do not come out, all right? Come out, you got guest of honor. Be fresh broccoli. You get... It's a great honor being on the Refresh Broccoli channel. Come out. One good thing about gerbils is that they, like, shit in here, all right? R rather than just, like, all over the place. Other than that, they do, like, fuck all. So, yeah, after reviewing as many pets as I could, I still have no clue why people decide to get some of the pets that they decide to get, all right? Yeah, anyway, gamers, thank you for coming along today. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have an amazing day. All right, bye.